you. Wow. How did sexy creep into Arctic monkeys? We stopped hiding it. We allowed it to come out. I think we crept in sexy. I think rather than it it creeping in us. You got a bitch. <laughs> Relentless foreman. Yeah, shove that up your weekend. Um, Australia Day. That's what happened while we were here. Um, not really. Nothing. And uh, the first break, I. I don't use a wallet because I lose wallets, so I just have loose cash. We couldn't get clothing to fit, not that I've put on weight, more that it's just, um, you know, make them in my size, on the weird size. Uh, so we're just going to use metallic silver paint, and so essentially I'll be naked, but not to the, not to the naked eye. I've got a mini harmonica. There's been quite a big gap between coming off and going back on because uh, a lot of crew have got terrible, terrible diarrhoea. So I think a lot of fans might think that's it, but it's not. We are coming back on. It's just because everyone's got the shits. Cheers. He's quite a scary man, I think, so <laughs> yeah. you don't really want to say no to him. Somebody smells amazing. Uh -oh. All of us. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't talk to him unless we're on British soil. <laughs> and neither, neither do the other two. I don't know the actual date, but I can feel when I'm near to it each year. I get like a warmish sort of, sort of there, you know, like when you've had a really delicious dessert. I've pulled. I've only been out drinking for 10 minutes. Pulled already. I was just thinking before. Big year 2013 for the Arctic Monkeys. We headlined Glastonbury, as the ladies just mentioned. And we're soundtracking that now. I mean, we've been on the kind of league table. Wow, this really is a surprise! Just got about a minute and a half. Five minutes. <coughs> Seems to be causing a few problems. Oh dear, someone smashed a glass. Someone smashed a glass. It's Nick. Nick smashed, Nick smashed a glass. Anyway. Well, open your eyes. Oh my god! Oh. Bonsoir. Hello. How do you approach festivals different than uh, club venues? Um, I mean, the internet in general. What, what, what would you say your relationship is with it now? What, what do you think of it? In terms Purely X-rated, personally. Yeah. <laughs> just porn. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie's an ex-porn star. Right, as well. <laughs> <laughs> just sort of add that. I have, I have no romance. <laughs> he's not romantic. He's just dis he's just dirty. He just <laughs> straight to the point. Well, I'm hoping that this X-rated comment that I just made <laughs> that gets spun, and then it's like. Nick O'Malley, porn addict, <laughs> and it's me and David Duchovny, and we're both in rehab together. Right, right. right. I saw them bollards that are penises yeah. okay. in Amsterdam. They're like, you know, a bollard on a side of a road. Yeah, yeah. Like that, it were oh, yeah. a penis. I'm quite shocked by that. There's a cracker about that tune, My Propeller, on the new album. Yeah. Like that there's some sort of, uh, that it's some kind of... Phallic undertone. That's about yeah. you. Yeah. Like a fading... Tree. Do you have any rituals before you go on stage? Untie and then retie my shoelaces. Really? I think that's more a mental health issue than a superstition. Today, for example, we've been playing Throw the Lime Down the Corridor. So we've got a bit of a long corridor where our dressing room is and it's got a roof on it. So you've got to try and hit the other end of the corridor without hitting a wall or a floor or a ceiling. It's pretty difficult and that really, really does pass the time. <laughs> that really wiles them hours away. You're watching GrammyPro.com. Come, come.